Good afternoon, my friends. Well, it's uh, Friday afternoon and uh, I actually had the day off today, so uh, I had plenty of time for uh, my project. And uh, my project is right down here in front of the passenger seat, the front passenger seat. Um, I've been working on this project for a while, but uh, I believe now it's finished. It's, it's hooked up and all, so I will show you. I have to say though, I'm not completely finished tidying up. But uh, here is my project. You see, this here is a diesel heater. And uh, here's the, the hose. And next to the heater, the orange thing is the diesel tank. The way this car, the way the Raven is made, I couldn't get to the diesel tank on the car. Um, maybe someone who know more about cars than I do could do that, but I couldn't. So I chose to do it this way. You see the connection hose or the diesel hose is right here and then it comes up there and goes into the tank there. That hose is long enough so that I can take the tank and put it on the ground next to the Raven when I want to put diesel. So I don't need to um, pour diesel inside the Raven because diesel stinks really bad. Um, that's one of the reasons why it's made it looks kind of how to say it it looks like well i i heard a word the, 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 a little while ago it was called a, a non-built and it, it, this is kind of a non-built the only thing that's permanent is the hole in the floor and yes under the diesel heater is a round pot down here. The diesel heater is connected to that and then underneath is made a hole in the floor and that hole is sealed. I don't know if you can see it. It's sealed both there and underneath all the way around in that so that no water will come in to the to the subfloor in the Raven and also no uh, exhaust fumes will come into the to the Raven while driving or for that matter while parked. Underneath, see if I can show you. I don't think I can show you the exhaust pipe, but I can show you the air intake. I just need to cut the end of that uh, zip tie. But that's the air intake for the diesel heater. The exhaust pipe sits underneath. Um, so when it's running, it will uh, exhaust the heat or the the fumes backwards i have been thinking about getting a piece more of of exhaust pipe i don't have any more uh, it didn't come with very much but maybe i'm gonna get a piece more so i can put from the silencer which is in there and then to outside the the car a little bit like the a little bit like the the intake you see the intake there so I would like to put the exhaust outside as well, maybe even on the other side of the car or something. But I will need to buy some more uh, exhaust pipe for that. The reason why I made it like this, it is fairly easy to take away. It's not built in. Um, well, I kind of like it this way because in, in the future, if I some t somewhere in the future gets a, a ban or something, then I can take the heat out, seal the hole in the floor, make everything look nice again, and then bring the heater to the to the new van. But that is future. Right now, I'm happy about the Raven. The control panel sits here, and I will make some kind of thing that can sit in because it, this is this is temporary 
and I might even make something for the for the where the hot air comes out but for now this is okay this is uh, kind of how to say um, well the thing is I want to find out if I can remove this seat if I'm allowed to I can remove it but I don't know if I'm allowed to because of the Danish rules about campers and all that um, if I am I am going to make something here instead of a seat where the heat duct from the heater can sit in and also the the, the control panel but um, I didn't put diesel in the tank yet so I can't turn it on but you see this uh, thing says the temperature is 17 degrees inside the ribbon and I can actually turn on the fan in a moment the fan will turn on here we are so now a lot of air comes out here it is only cold air but uh, a lot of air and obviously it's only cold air because let me turn it back off okay, I don't have the, the I don't have diesel in the tank yet so I'm not gonna turn it on for real before I have that but yeah it is an espace you see the name uh, espace a German brand uh, the heater and uh, well, I could have gone with the Chinese one, a lot of people do that, but I decided to go for the good one, uh, the, the brand name, for once. Usually I don't go for brand name, but with a thing like this, it's kind of important, you know. Uh, though I've already gone through one window in the Raven without heating, so uh, that is another reason why I decided to just install it like this, kind of temporary because I need it very soon. Today it's nice and warm, but it's not gonna stay like this. They uh, predict that we're gonna have quite a winter this year. So uh, just needed to get it in. Here you can see the diesel pump and it's installed in an angle as they say. And then I put a diesel filter as well, a fuel filter. So, um, my plan is when the when the sealant around here and also underneath when that's set I can remove this and I can remove that because then it'll sit by itself but for now I need those two that one and this one to keep it in place but that is temporary so you could say it's a little bit of a jerry rig but that's okay. <laughs> um, seems like it's working. And also, of course, it's hooked up to the battery. And as you know, I was given Robin, my Dutch friend gave me an extra battery. So it's hooked up to the two 100 amp hour batteries I got. I got, this is the one I got from Robin. And behind that is the one I had already and they are connected, those two batteries. So, uh, and then the heater is connected to this. So, this is how it looks for now. And as I say, it is a temporary install. It is just to make sure that I have heating this winter. The permanent install will be in this place as well. After all, I made hole in the bottom of the Raven. So, uh, but, uh, I would like to make it so that I could run the the fuel line to the fuel tank of the Raven. That would be nice. But uh, for now, it's with the with the fuel tank over there. Well, I promised you guys to uh, make a video after I finished the install. Um, I could have made a video off the install but this install has been taking me well on and off for three weeks or something like that it's not like i did it in one go it was just a little bit a little bit a little bit so uh, i decided to do it this way but 
Well, I hope it works. The, uh, at least the fan is working for now. I can hear that it moves some air. So now I just need it to uh, light up when I get the diesel in the tank. So uh, let's see how that goes. Well, can't complain about that view and the raven is parked right up there at the end of the road. That's a very nice parking lot. Nice and quiet. It is a vacation house area. So uh, not a lot of people at this time of year and only four minutes away from where I'm working tomorrow can't really complain about that so here you see where the raven is parked so that's not at all bad. There is fields. And speaking of the raven, you see, here's my diesel heater installation up here. I got the control panel for now. Let's try to put it on. At first nothing really happens. This here is the pump, the diesel pump, and the diesel filter, a fuel filter. You see, it's not completely full. I want to take care of that, but I tried to do it to suck uh, diesel up with the mouth, <laughs> unscrewed it here and sucked diesel up, and that was horrible. So, you hear? Now something starts to happen. I'm just gonna close the door. Underneath here. There you see the exhaust pipe. that's where all the sound come from when it's running I want to put a longer from the exhaust pipe a longer pipe further back because right now if the exhaust comes out <laughs> right next to the door that's not very smart but I don't have that pipe so I need to get a hold of that first well this is how it sounds like outside. Let's, let's try to go inside. Uh, it's not really any use for it right now because it's not really cold. When we're inside, 
when I sit here I can feel the, the air coming because I have the, you see, down here, down there, where is it, right there is the, the opening from the heater, so the hot air comes up here behind me. And obviously I hear a little bit of like the, the blowing air, the sound from that. But you hear that's not a problem at all. And then I hear a bit of clicking from the pump, but not very loud. I am thinking about now, as I say, the the control panel sits right up here, right? I am thinking about moving it over here somewhere, maybe here, or uh, yeah, well actually up here would be fine, but I don't really know how to do that because of the cable on the back and some things, but I need to figure that out, maybe make a small box or something, that would be nice to have it there. I don't want to make holes up in the anything, so uh, need to need to find out how to do it, so it's but uh, yeah, now it's it's very warm air coming right next to my right next to my head, and uh, well, that is ideal. It really is. I am thinking about moving the vent pipe, moving it down underneath the seat or something like that. Um, I need to figure out how hot does it get if it's uh, safe to put it down there or if it can damage something but uh, I'll find out about that now I'll run it for a little while and then I'll feel the pipe and see if it's if I think it'll be a problem else I'll move it under the seat anyway I hope you guys have a great weekend or whatever it is when I get this video uploaded <laughs> But anyway, I hope you guys have a great time. You guys take care and remember, life is good. Bye-bye.